Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. My name is Corbin and I cover all things related to the Hyundai Ioniq 5, the upcoming Ioniq 6 and Ioniq 7, and all things Hyundai, eGMP, platform, electric car related news. So today's video, I want to show you guys the main differences between the SE, SEL, and limited trims in 2023. So the 2023s just started hitting dealer lots in the last couple weeks. And for all of you prospective buyers out there, I wanna show you visually the differences between the three trims here in the United States. This video doesn't really apply to other countries as every market has its own set of trim levels. So here in the US, we have SE, SEL, and limited trims. And last year, there was a lot more differentiation on the exterior of the car between the SE, SEL, and limited trims. Unfortunately, in 2023, now there's really only two trim levels in terms of exterior differences. So let's not waste any time, let's just get right into it. So visually in 2022, there were three looks to the cars. On the SC trim, you had what you'll see above, which is uh, turn signals in the lower front edge of the bumper, reflector type headlights without integrated turn signals, and no mustache accent light bar on the front. So that was the SC in 2022. This is a 2022 SEL, and you can see you have the mustache light bar, projector type headlamps with integrated turn signals, and obviously no turn signal down low because they're integrated into the headlamps. And then on the limited trim, it looked basically identical to this, except instead of black plastic trim, you had this matte silver trim taking its place. So every trim in 2022 had a unique look. So in 2023, the SE trim looks exactly the same as it did in 2022. And unfortunately for the 2023 SELs, they're gonna look different. So if you look above, you'll see some footage of what a 2023 SEL lighting package looks like from the front. You'll notice that they've downgraded the headlights to the reflector type seen on the SE, and they do have the lower mounted turn signals, as well as they have completely omitted the mustache accent light bar, which I think is rather unfortunate because this is such a cool look for the car. It's really unique. And I just think that it gave the SEL a much more premium look compared to the base trim of the car. And the only other major difference between the 2022 and 2023 is that you now have phone is key on 2023 SEL. So, you lose lighting, but you gain phone as key, which in my opinion, I would rather have the lighting over phone as key, but some of you might think this is a good sacrifice. And for 2023, all of this lighting seen here is now exclusive to the limited trim, which is the top trim in the United States. So if you like the look of this front end with this lighting, you're gonna have to spring for the high trim level. So the next big lighting change for the Ionic 5 is here on the back. As you can see, and compared to the 2023, the 2022 has all these little light colored pixels across the center. And you also have this really cool light pipe on the bottom that runs the entire width of the vehicle. And that's gone for 2023. This area is now just a black section with no light piping on the bottom. In the 2022 SEL, there's four pixels right here and those are for your reverse lights. Now in the 2023 SEL, your reverse lights do move down to this white section here on this lower reflector panel, which on the 2022, this is strictly just a red reflector. Now besides that, these still function as your turn signals and brake lights, and there's also a third brake light up top here in the spoiler. The turn signals are not amber colored in the back, they are red, so these pixels in the center of these two squares turn completely red. For me personally, if I were still in the market for an Ionic 5 right now, I would probably go for a 2022 SEL if I could find one. Chances are you might be able to get a deal since people are going to want the new model year, and because it retains all this neat lighting and accenting from the previous model year. Some people might value that exchange, I personally don't. So again, there is no visual difference on the exterior of the car between a 2023 SE and SEL, which is unfortunate because at least in the 2022 model year, you could tell the difference between all three trims. So the SE had that base model look, the SEL had the upgraded lighting, but it still retained 
matte black cladding around the car. And then when you stepped up to the limited trim, that's when you got all the matte silver trim to take over for the matte black color. And for 2023, the only other color option that's been added to the palette is Gravity Gold Matte, which is honestly a really cool color. That's the one you're seeing in the footage I've been showing you throughout the video. It's just another interesting option from Hyundai. You don't see a ton of other auto manufacturers doing the matte colored paint, so it's really cool that we have two options now. So, so I hope you guys enjoyed this visualization of the new trim levels for 2023. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section. Let me know if this is a deal breaker for you on the SEL trim, or if you really don't care and you'd rather have the phone as key option. So as always, if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already done so, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, everybody. So if you're anything like me, you are probably disappointed after you purchased your Hyundai Ionic 5 and realized that there was no overhead storage for your sunglasses. So I solved that problem with the Hyundai Ionic 5 magnetic eyewear holder. It simply clips onto the magnetic area next to the driver display and your sunglasses go right onto it. These are 3D printed in PETG and will not soften in the heat of your car. They utilize a one and a quarter inch rare earth magnet that keeps them securely on your dashboard and a strip of Velcro protects the frames of your glasses. These will work well with thick plastic frame glasses such as Ray-Ban Wayfarers, but not so much with wire frame glasses like aviators. These are available for $20 plus shipping at the link below in white or black. Thanks for checking them out.